Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I did this 2D animation of a treasure chest opening in a spine. We have two images of a treasure chest, one with open cover and one with closed cover and I will start by separating these images into several layers. I recreate the handle's shadow so that I can lower its opacity when the handle rotates away from the chest. And the layer is in multiply blending mode. I recreate the cover's shadow that falls on the bottom part as well, so I can hide it the moment the cover opens, also in multiply mode. I'm finished with separating the layers, I'll export them using Photoshop to Spine scripts and import into Spine.
Now I'm turning the attachments into meshes and creating vertices so I can deform them. I'm creating the bones now which I will use to rotate the chest's bottom part and the closed cover. I will create transform constraints on the bones which will control the back sides of the chest and bind them to the bones at the front, setting the translate mix to minus 100 so that the back bones move in the opposite direction. For rotating the open cover, I will create a rotation bone here as a child of a parent's bone which I will scale down horizontally so that the rotation bone draws an elliptical arc. I'm going to bind the vertices of the open cover mesh to another bone I will create at the tip of the rotation bone and the chest cover bone which doesn't move. Then I will activate the weight tool and adjust how much each vertex will be affected by which bone. I will repeat the weight adjusting process for all the meshes. Adjusting weights should be done in animate mode. You need to change the binded bones pose and then work on getting the needed deformation of the mesh by adjusting each vertex's weights.
I create a transform constraint for the handle shadow and bind it to the bone that I use to rotate the chest so that the shadow moves with it and I do the same thing for the handle that is on the right. Now I will use stretch and squash, one of the valve animation principles. Before the chest jumps up, it needs to squash down for its anticipation pose, so I scale it down vertically and scale it up horizontally. Another animation principle I will use here is overlapping action. The chest will rotate forward while squashing down, just as a human would do before a jump. But its rotation will lag behind its squashing, rotating a little bit back first and then forward with a little delay after the squash. After squashing down, the chest must stretch up before it takes off, so I scale it up vertically and scale it down horizontally. The moment the chest's cover needs to be opened, I hide the closed cover attachment and make the open cover attachments visible. The moment the chest lands, it should be stretched up, then it will squash down and it will repeat this spring-like action several times before its scale comes back to its default state. After it opens, the open cover overlaps as well, rotating front and back several times. Just after the takeoff, bottom of the chest will rotate forward even more and it will rotate back until it lands on the ground, then again forward and it will repeat this several times before it comes back to its default rotation value. I rotate the handles now and then I will give opacity keyframes to handles shadow, lowering its opacity when the handle moves away from the chest.
For the shine that comes out from the inside of the chest, I rotate the shine texture, make its opacity fade in and out at the start and at the end. Then I duplicate this shine several times and offset each of their keyframes. That's it, thanks for watching.